Why do people love cake? And is there a box mix that tastes better than another? Let's find out. Why do people love cake? Well, it's ceremonial for birthdays and anniversaries and festivals, weddings and Valentine's Day. It looks beautiful and it's a dessert. Who doesn't love a dessert? And it's tasty and they make you happy. Why don't people buy boxed cake mixes? Well, there's tons of preservatives in them. It's not homemade. And some people just like to work on their culinary baking expertise. So why do people buy box cake mixes? Well, they stay moist longer, they're easy and they consistently turn out well, they're cheaper and they're faster to make when you've got a busy schedule. If you're going to buy a box cake mix, which one would you buy? I bought Duncan Hines for $1.24, Betty Crocker for $1, Pillsbury for $1.34, and Great Value for 88 cents. Let me know in the comments below which one you prefer. Cake mixes have been around since the early 1930s, and they continue to be in our households today. Okay, I'm gonna bake each one of these cakes, then I'm gonna taste them and see which one is the best. I have all of the cakes baking in the oven. I have a little bit of mix left from each cake. So I think it would be fun if we put a little bit of each one into one cake pan and bake it and we'll see how that one tastes. All right, I have all the cakes made. Let's dive in and see which one is the best. I'm gonna start over here with the Duncan Hines. This one, my knife just went right through. It's very almost airy, like there's no density to it. Okay, I pulled that out. It's a little dry. It's crumbling and falling apart. But let's taste it. Very airy, almost as if there's like nothing in your mouth and it just dissolves really quickly in your mouth. All right, next we are going to test our Betty Crocker cake. Same thing, my knife went right through really easily. We'll pull this one up and this one did not fall apart as easily as the Duncan Hines. It has a good spring to it. And let's taste it. I can already tell the difference between this one and this one. I'm already liking this one better. This one had more of a chocolatey flavor and it actually felt like it had some um, structure to it. I didn't feel like I was just eating air. <laughs> I don't know. We'll see. Let's go into Pillsbury. This one did not fall apart either. Springy. It's kind of falling apart now, but let's taste this one. That one's not bad. Very similar to this one. This is getting harder as we go. All right, now we're gonna try our devil's food cake from Great Value. This one's very light. Springy, smells good. It's good. Considering the box was only 88 cents, it's not too bad, but I don't think it has as, it's not as dense as these two. So I think it's gonna come down to Pillsbury or Betty Crocker for me. So I'm gonna taste each one again and then we'll see which one's the winner. Here's my, here's my opinion. <laughs> I think Betty Crocker won and here's why. Betty Crocker was the in-between price um, it held its structure up very well. It's very chocolatey flavor. And when you bite into it, it tastes like a dense chocolate cake. The rest, Pillsbury did a good job with the density as well, but I felt like Duncan Hines and Great Value were just too airy and they weren't that great in my mouth for the mouth feel. Um, the, 
Duncan Hines didn't hold up as well. When I picked it up, it just kind of crumbled out. And I don't want that when I'm making a cake. I want it to hold its shape. So I'm gonna say out of these four, I would pick Betty Crocker. But I know you guys are all waiting to know what it tastes like when you stick all four cake mixes together. And that's what I have right here is our four cakes mixed together. And we are gonna cut this one open and see if mixing all the cakes does anything to it, if it adds flavor, if it messes it up. It cooked up nicely. Ooh, it's nice and dense, chocolatey, springy. Let's taste it. Not bad. Not bad, if I do say so myself. It just tastes like a good chocolate cake. But funny enough, it still doesn't compare to just the Betty Crocker one. I feel like this one still held up its shape. And when you're eating it, it's very, I had to eat some more of this kind. I still pick Betty Crocker. This was fun and a good experiment, but if I'm gonna buy a box cake mix at the grocery store, you won my vote. If you guys want to know how you can make your box cake mix taste even better, make sure you check out this video right over here, and we will see you guys next time. Okay. Ta-da. Kind of not liking the way that goes. Just goes. Should we just start this over? Okay.